And again, here we are doing the same thing. First off, I want to know how you guys feel about the update, the pros, the cons. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Whatever the case is, I'm very curious on y'all's feedback before I really give you mine. And I need you, I need you right now. All right, I'll be honest. I do miss the old style gulag. I like the 1v1, but I felt like I was better at 1v2ing in the other style than I am at 1v1ing in this style. Maybe it's because I'm a bot. Who knows? But I can never find the damn enemy. And TTK seems wild in Gulag. I mean, to be real, if this was TTK normally, dude, if Gulag TTK was normal TTK, I think this game would be great. I mean, I just beamed his shit in with literally more than half a magazine, and he lived to talk about it for an extra five seconds. But again, I'm not gonna give you guys my feedback this video. At least that's the plan. But I do want to see how the solo experience changes with the new update. Right now, everyone's typing Z's in the chat of the game. I think people are falling asleep. I don't know why. This is this is intense. All right, counter UAVs up. A new addition doesn't save this poor asshole. And again, like look, notice the TTK difference between this and the Gulag. Granted, the Gulag's a different gun. Um, but man, I mean, whoa. The TTK during the Gulag to me felt like it was basically Warzone 1. Or maybe I missed 999.9999% of my bullets. But I know I didn't. All right, so right now we have $5,500. We do have a lot of enemies around us. I don't know if we're plated or not. I really was kind of hoping they'd fix that glitch. But I mean, spectating is not their priority, so I'm not mad at it. Fix the rest of it first, right? Can we all agree on that? But so far, I gotta say, um, cool too is uh, off to a decent start. Looting officially, trying to find his stuff. The, the the vomit loot's a little more clustered together than I'd like it to be. Oh, no, I'm not gonna give you my feedback. But uh, and that's why it's taking him so long. But overall, I think he's a decent player from what we've witnessed. And a lot of people landed here, which is really strange to me. Even though it was the flight path. Whenever I land here, we might have one person, maybe, or one team. But good job observing everything around him. He sees. We hear him above us. He's trying to figure out if he wants to go around the backhand side, which I wouldn't mind seeing him vault. I wouldn't mind seeing him vault through the window on the back ledge and taking this a little bit better. If the enemy is laying up here. This is going to be uh, a terrible fight. And honestly, you know, you can't really blame Cool 2. You really can't. I want to, but it's it's just unfortunate. And again, that's, in my opinion, is why I think TTK should be extended. So if people are laying prone on rooftops with no skill, no ability at all, just wait, just watching the ladder for X amount of time, um, we could crawl up there or climb up there and actually have a chance to outplay the situation. It's personal preference, but I mean, I do believe you should just reward a little bit of extra skill more than somebody laying prone watching the stairs or a ladder. Um, and notice the guy we just spectated in him, right? And this is a lot of our argument about skill gap, because in my opinion, I don't believe this dude should ever outplay the guy we were just spectating ever. All right, we got snipe from the tower. Let's see if he pushes this, let's see how he approaches this, let's see if he runs. We're running in the open. But yeah, as far as like sitting here saying, well, um, too cool, should have done this, should have done this. Should, I mean, I, I'm for it, man. I, I want to push campers. I want to push players. I'm not going to run from a fight when I know someone's sitting there. Even if I know I'm probably going to die. I die a lot of times every day. I'm pushing a fight. I know I probably won't win just because it's just, it's just who I am. It's, it's just how I play. I like, I like to fight people and I can't stand campers. But realistically, we did have money. He could have just bailed away, gone, hopefully gotten closer to his loadout, bought his loadout, and approached the fight later on. Um, there are definitely ways to, to play that situation. So if you guys are not like me and you want to know how to play that fight, don't. There's just a very small window of opportunity to actually win that. And you would really have to rely on the enemy just to miss every freaking bullet in the world in order to win that fight. 
All right, so right now, talking about what to do, you got to make a decision. Sergeant needs to decide, does he want to fight the guy in the tower who's also sitting still, not wanting to move? This long standoff. Or does he want to move on and continue gathering his money, getting his loadout, and moving on to fight other enemies? Now, I told you guys I'd want to fight the guy on the rooftop, and that's just because I was right there. I was at the building. You know, you're clearing the first floor, clearing the second floor. Next thing you know, he's on the roof. I'm already here. Why not? But because of the distance between us and the tower, because of the fact that he's sniping, um, and again, we have a lot of loot on our side, I would just go ahead and move on in this certain situation. And uh, look at those gas prices. It's not that bad. Uh, go ahead and move on, get my loot, and we might be able to find him later on. And again, I know, I know normally I say if you know where players are, you have to fight them because they might kill you later on. But just just like the guy we spectated, dude, if you go to push that tower, if you don't get killed in the open, he'll probably sit there waiting for you to come through the door and just blast you away. Also, I'm really crossing my fingers for no server lag or disconnect today. I got kicked out of six of my nine games yesterday. So let's here's the hoping. So a lot of those ladders that are being blocked by the boards, there was a wall there. All you have to do is get on the walls and then jump over them. There's a lot of areas like that, especially the stronghold over at... Um, oh, great. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm trying to remember where it is. Somewhere around this area, right? No, right here. Okay, so there's a wall right here. And then there's a ladder going up to the stronghold building. So you just want to jump on the wall and then jump up on the ladder over the wooden part. And... The reason why I'm saying that is a lot of people don't know that. When I do it on stream, people are like, oh my God, I had no idea. And I'm going to make a YouTube short for it just to show you guys. Um, but just pay attention to those ladder jumps and things like that. A lot of the buildings are more vertical than you think. But again, and this is the mixture of the lobbies. This is why I'm kind of wondering um how the sbmm really is in this game in warzone one i felt sbmm i felt it hard but in this game i'll be honest i don't really feel it too much because i mean one you see who i spectate two you see the different types of players we spectate we spectate some really good ones some decent ones and then some really not so understanding ones so i think it's a lot less i think it's a lot more loose in this game at least right now granted now that we have stats it might get strict Also, I know stats are out, guys. Y'all are going to be changing your play style, trying to get your high KDs and things like that. And that's fine, by all means. Work for something. Um, but do not let your stats dictate the way you play. Of course, if you go on win streaks and you're not dying a lot, of course, your stats are going to rise. But if you're sitting in a random building, like the tower, way the hell over here, wherever it was, if you're sitting in the tower... Not really in a gatekeep position, not really in a power position. You're just waiting. Yeah, it's not really going to help you at all. Sure, you won't die, so your stats won't get tanked. But as far as winning, as far as getting kills, it's going to be a long, drawn-out fight for you. Excuse me. Damn. Um, and the reason, again, why I'm saying that is in Warzone 1, we expected some people just laying in the randomest spots. Spots that didn't make sense. Spots that were not an area where they were going to find kills, much less be able to go on and win the game. And ultimately, they would end up dying and tanking their stats. Uh, I just see a lot. People just try to focus too hard on their stats. They end up ruining them more than they end up helping them. Also, I'll, is that, wait, is that the new train? I'd like to see it. Hey, it is a new train. I played all day yesterday. Never saw this once. We've got. You want to you want to shoot him in the head? Here we go. Sniper Glenn at the right hand side window. You saw it on the rooftop. There it is. He did not see it again. Observations, everything. Um, this is live right now, and, and not a flex. Just showing you guys like when you play this game a lot, you start noticing a lot of shit. I'm curious how many of you guys didn't see the glint. I would like to think everybody in here did, but he clearly didn't. Also, pay attention to who the enemy you killed is shooting at. The enemy you killed was shooting at somebody over here. So not only do we have to worry about the sniper, but unless the enemy killed him, there could be a guy to our left-hand side, but we don't know and we've never looked. 
So again, pay attention to everything. Follow the traces of the enemy you're shooting. Follow the glints. Follow every piece of intel because it all matters. Sniper shot coming from the graveyard side. And again, here we are doing the same thing. What? I mean, thank God, but what? He's clipping it right now. He's clipping it. I don't, I guess he had an angle on him. Maybe he did. But yeah, guys, don't, don't lay prone in a building either. Granted, I wouldn't predict that, but don't do it. So now your boys that we were just spectating had two kills. He died. So his KD right now is a two. If he dies in the gulag, it's now a one. So all of that, all of that laying prone, probably trying not to ruin his stat, just ultimately did what? Nothing for him. And the reason why I'm curious about y'all's opinions on this update. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, you're clean right there. Dude, I didn't even realize that, but yeah. Where the glint is coming from, you laid right in front of it, homie. Um, the reason why I'm curious about your opinions on the updates is because I, for one, think that this update, I thought this update would change the play style drastically. I thought it was going to be such a drastic update that everything would change. People would play different. But to be honest, not only is it the same, it's more hardcore the same than anything, meaning what I experienced yesterday in playing for nine hours was that people play more scared. I don't want to say scared. They play slow as hell. We just got double tapped. What the hell do we get double tapped by? I'm about to watch that back in the, in the edit, dude. There's, I'm pretty sure we got tapped twice by a sniper back to back. Thank God you were crouch walking, homie. I don't know if that was your boy, though. He doesn't have a sniper on his body, so that is concerning. So this point, just play it up, reload, get your shit together, and assess the rest of the situation. Again, we're crouch walking here. Don't like it. Again, we got sniped. I think we got sniped. Regardless of what happened to us, the enemy didn't have any of those weapons. So there's still another guy around here. There he is. It was a sniper. I don't know. If I, I felt like I heard us get hit twice. All right, so you're repeating the same angle. Don't like that. So as a sniper main, when you're sniping an enemy, you have to change your location unless you hit the enemy. So for that, the enemy was looking already at us. We peeked, we unpeeked. So where do you think the enemy's gonna aim to? He's gonna aim where he saw us. So when we do repeat, what's gonna happen? He's gonna tap us. Now, the only time you're ever going to repeat the same situation is if you get the shot off an enemy first. That's it. If you don't, it's time for you to relocate. Get to the second floor, get to the window, just go to the left-hand side of the building, do something different. Now, look at the enemy here. Again, as a sniper, you're standing in the open. You're praying to God the enemy is missing his shots, and he's very fortunate we are. But, again, he's got no cover, no concealment. Even if he gets shot and not down, where is he going to run to? He has nothing. If he gets third party, then what? He's standing in the open on the edge of the gas. Um, and to be honest, the only reason that dude lived is because this guy isn't. How do I say this? I mean, he can't hit his shots. I like that he keeps looking that direction, but at this point, because of the separation from the enemy, if we're not going to fight him, which we definitely shouldn't because of the zone and us having to go to Zaza. Um, because of separation, there's just no reason to keep looking this direction. Every time we look, every time we slow down and sidestep, if that enemy is pushing across, which he is, it'll bring him closer towards us and give him a better chance of killing us. I, I would be all for killing this poor SOB, but again, I'm more worried about up here. We're in a very rough situation. We've got to push into one of the most dangerous areas on the map, in my opinion, because of the different levels of elevations and the building, the terrain, everything around you, and the fact that it is gatekeeping us right now. Not to mention, we have that guy, but I promise you, we probably have other people rotating in from the rest of the map. 
So instead of saying staying tunnel vision on the one guy over here and allowing him first off to go ahead and get high ground, we should be focusing on positioning right now more than everything. Take a peek once or twice. Just keep peeking. But this focus and just slowing. I mean, look how much he slows down his momentum when he does that. He sidesteps for about five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, and then keeps running. And if the other enemy is in full sprint to the hill, he's going to get here first and try to gatekeep us. And the reason why I'm saying that is if I'm the enemy, that's how I'm looking at it. Thinking to myself, shit, he's closer to the zone we are. If I can try my best to rotate as fast as humanly possible, get up here, maybe I can gatekeep uh, this, guy, this guy right here and get the kill on him. <clears throat> Everything that I try to do is usually based around rotation, with the exception of the very early game. Like, what? what is this? Maybe he's looking at the circle. I'll forgive him. Um, again, Zaza's favored right now. We really don't have to rotate yet. So just clear this area out. We have a little bit of time. We have 30 seconds plus the zone closing in. So I'd say we have about 45, 50, 60 seconds before we need to do anything. Now, here's the most concerning part. We need to get the buy. We have 27 grand and the buy is right next to us. Instead of remaining stealthy, instead of buying UAV and trying our best to play our lives. Oh, shit and goes to the buy station, we end up getting on a four-wheeler, alerting everyone around us, hey, I'm here, and then we get clapped. Not for that at all. Again, you know people are gonna be at Zaza, it's not a secret, you know it. And even if they're on the buy, don't be afraid to go to the buy, especially when you're gonna get killed by this guy anyway. Dying with that much money, man. Also, look, decoys are going out, people are throwing shit at us, and here we are focused on the loot. And again, look at the money, look at the buy. This is what I'm talking about. Are you... Are you gonna have the same fate, the guy you just killed? I don't know if there's UAV on the buy. There might not be, since he was sitting there. He might have bought it, bought it already, but I don't think so. From what we're witnessing right now, I don't think that's the case. So the guy we killed doing the same mistake, we end up doing the exact same shit. This game's about learning from your mistakes, but ultimately from the mistakes of the enemies that you kill, and that kill you. Again, not really sure what we're looting for. I'm more worried about, exactly. Dude, look, you're in Zaza. If you are in Zaza. Wait, did he come back with a sniper? I'll be honest, I didn't know it was a thing. You come back with your primary? If you're in Zaza, dude, forget about everything. When you got when he had 27 grand on him, all of his plates, all of his loot, he had everything he needed. Worry about the rooftops and the high ground and the terrain around you and not the damn crate. Now we're landing back at Zaza. We got a loadie to our left hand side, which is probably where I would have landed to. Oh, he didn't come back with it. I'm mean, gonna glitch or something. Oh, there's a guy right there by the tents. He didn't even see him right there by the building left hand side doesn't see him still still clueless and This is gonna end real badly Now unfortunate for us The enemy's just camping it. So there's not really much I'll say there's not much we can do but if he ends up looking over this ridge we're gonna get clapped He doesn't which is strange All right testing our luck twice. Ooh. RPK sniper combo as a sniper do not ever do this. This is stupid. I'm sorry This is just not not the way and the reason being is if someone pulls up on you if someone gets close to you and pushes your face in you're rotating if someone happens to be in a corner Or a bush What's gonna happen? They're gonna shit on you with a vector. They're gonna shit on you with anything. We got a guy at loadout I don't know why we're rotating this soon um The, I actually do know why he's rotating this soon, but I'll be honest, I'm not for it. This circle here is just an ass circle. There's no way around it. Anything that goes around marshlands is just a pile of shit zone. There's, so I'm not gonna hate on too much. The idea normally is to pre-rotate and he had the right idea, but with this zone here, I don't like it because this building is going to get pushed out. It's on the very, very, very edge and we're gonna have to rotate back across the land anyway. The circle's gonna finish over here. I mean, just look at the percentage of the zone, right? 
I would have slowed it down and played the edge in this zone. Who, who is this guy? <laughs> Can I not spectate dude just clapped our cheeks? The aggressive guy? No? Okay. I'm so glad the meta changed, by the way. Love it. Thank God we don't see any more RPKs or uh, Akimbo pistols. Been, it's been a long three months. Uh, and I'm very excited that Activision's finally stepped up and nerfed the guns to where we have a new meta. It's awesome, man. Really appreciative to the guys at Activision. If we can get a hand clap in the comment section for them, man, just really giving them all the love we can. I'd really appreciate it, dude. Do it. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for the Wolfpack. Do it for everybody in the Call of Duty universe. Thank you, Activision, for making a new meta. So, okay, like... Play the edge, slow it down for sure. This is not a good spot. This is, this is a terrible spot. Real bad. So where do you go? Well, right now we need to be gathering intel. We're looking up here, but we need to be looking down there. We see clusters being thrown. We need to find out where enemies are at. That is way too far of a shot for the RPK, homie. So we need to figure out, because I want to know if there's guys here. There's also a ridge right here. I want to know if there's guys here. If we are looking, if we're paying attention, then we can decide if we want to rotate there or not. We have one enemy to our right. One enemy is definitely over here. That's where the cluster was shot from. There you go. There you go. All right. You got it, brother. I believe in you. There, there it is. Look at you. Look at you, the Orion. I was about to say he's making a lot of noise, so I'm surprised not being shot at yet. Um, this is the ridge I was talking about. This is this is this is the exact ridge I was just referring to. Now look, when you're behind this ridge, we have a power spot. This is the best position in this zone, but you need to stand up and look. If you're laying prone, I would I'm willing to bet Clap is probably gonna die unless he starts peeking. We we have the position to where we can afford to peek, get some shots off, get some kills, and if we get clapped. Come back. Now, we also heard a smoke grenade go off our right-hand side. He's too tunnel vision right now on whatever's going on. All right, here we go. There's the enemy. Got to kill him. Stand up and shoot him in the face. Or you can let him get to cover. It's, it's fine. This is, this is what I'm talking about. You got stop being afraid to look. Please stop being afraid to look. So now the enemy has stolen our power position. We should never have let him get to this spot ever, and we've just completely rotated um, into a pretty bad spot. Now, the next circle may favor us, so it may work out. Let's see what happens. This, uh, definitely did not. And that's the power of the high ground right there, the heady, all that shit, beautiful shots by the enemy. We need to be plating up, but we're not going to. Oh, shut up. Wow. This game was extraordinary. <laughs> Look, he won the game. And to be honest, that Dury saved his life. And it was a good play, rotating the complete opposite way, changed position, did great on that. Um, but again, he should never put himself in that position. Playing that ridge was crucial. That enemy should never have been thrown across. The moment we heard that smoke grenade, what do you do? Stop fighting the guy that's fighting someone else. That's not even a danger to us. And we're about the guy that's pushing your rock. Because honestly, I think the enemy should have killed us. Um, but he, he, he did it. GG's.